Toros. I'm Crow. And I'm Malia. And this is Toro TV. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Are you going to be in Spanish through your hire next year? Are you already in Spanish through your hire? We are in the planning phases for our next trip for honors Spanish students. We are working to organize a trip to Peru in March of 2021. Visit this enchanting land, see the ruins of Machu Picchu, learn more about the Inca civilization, pick up some more Spanish. Try new foods, including guinea pig. To make this trip happen, we need parent support surveys completed ASAP. Please come to room 202, Senor Norton's room, to get one of these surveys and help make this trip happen. Again, honor Spanish, Peru, March of 2021. Get your surveys today. Seniors, have you completed your FAFSA? Do you have questions about the process and the documents you need? If so, come to room 206 on Wednesday, January 8th during Toro time for free pizza and help with anything related to financial aid. Bring your laptop and all your questions while you grab a slice of pizza because there's nothing better than a free slice of pizza and free money for college. And now for the monthly show. For this month, our intermediate students will be doing the stories. Have you seen those emotional dogs around? Well, here's why. Therapy dogs are uh, emotional support animals that we have on campus to help meet uh, the emotional needs of students and staff members. The purpose of our therapy dogs is to help meet those emotional needs of students and staff members. Um, we have found that um, anxiety levels and depression is increasing um, and we want to ensure that we're doing everything we can as a school to provide support for all students and staff. So our therapy dogs um, are found uh, primarily in our 100 building. Um, they are with our social worker, Sawyer, um, who's one of our therapy dogs, um, spends most of his time with our social worker. Um, one of our, our other therapy dog, Marley, um, spends his time split between the office. Um, he spends his mornings with me um, in my office, and then he spends his afternoon with his owner, um, Miss Van Brown out in the 800 building. I think what makes our therapy dogs so special is um, the way that they respond to students. Uh, they really uh, are sensitive to the needs of students. Um, they're very patient with students. Uh, they love to be pet and love to have that attention from students. And what I have found in working with uh, the dogs and with students is that it tends to just be something that allows them to take a breath, uh, particularly when they're feeling anxious or stressed. So all of our dogs go through extensive training um, to ensure that they are uh, ready to be in a school and with students. They start with obedience training uh, and then they go on to comfort dog training and then finally they have to pass a test to ensure that they meet all of the conditions to be safe on a school campus um, with kind of the uncertainty that comes with being around kids. Here's a brief glimpse of what went down in the art show. The art show is where all the teachers that teach in fine arts collect the best work or a sample of work from all their students and we put it on display in the media center for a week at the end of every semester. So right before Christmas and right before graduation. The, the classes that take part in the art show are jewelry classes, ceramics, stained glass, and drawing and painting, and of course photography. I teach all the digital photography classes, including AR23, which is advanced digital photo, AR22, which is the intermediate level, and the intro class, which is AR21. My classes are the only CTE classes that are also fine arts. I took photography because my dad does photography. I think I can improve my editing. I sometimes take photos outside of school. We do the art show because art's meant to be appreciated. And all the students and, and all the art programs work really hard all year and this is a chance for other people to see their work and what they've accomplished both uh, their peers and their parents and just people in the community did you happen to see the spelling bee well here's some behind the scene footage The 
typical first, first step for actors in a musical is auditioning and it's really stressful for some people but for me it's actually one of my favorite parts. Before the audition I make sure to do lots of research on the show. Um, I like to read the script three times. I had a teacher who told me to do that. The hardest part for me is the time commitment. A lot of us are involved in a lot of other activities in school as well, so it's just kind of hard to balance it all, but it's always worth it. I think there are a lot of moving parts that are like behind the scenes. Yes, our cast is super close. We are a small cast, there's only 11 of us. Like with a small cast, there's definitely a different dynamic than if you have like a 40 or 60 person cast. We're all super good friends and we totally clicked right away, even some of us who didn't know each other. I really feel like I've gotten to be great friends with every single person in this cast. I feel the best part about putting on a musical is that feeling right before you go on stage for the first time to perform for an audience. I personally really like the, the energy you get from an audience. It's the feeling of performing and getting to, to be up on the stage. I think a musical comes to life when everything has finally clicked when you can tell that everybody is having fun. A musical comes to life when there's like the commitment from, it, from everyone. If you are interested in theater and you don't know where to start or you don't have any experience, just start auditioning. Just go for it, you know? There's no harm in just trying. And I first like a comet, then I'm so by my stress, I just want to up and vomit. Oh, me!